Hello, students of Weinkauf Elementary. This is Vivian Vandeveld. I want to thank you for choosing my book, Eight Class Pets Plus One Squirrel Divided by One Dog Equals Chaos. to be read out loud in these days of learning at home. I really enjoyed the opportunity of hearing the various readers uh, read a chapter at a time. I think you all did a fantastic job. I was asked, how did I become a writer? I became a writer because I love stories of all kinds. But when I was growing up, my favorite stories were fairy tales, and my favorite fairy tales were the ones that were made into Disney movies. I loved the animation. I loved the singing. I loved all of the characters. But I did have a little bit of a problem with the Disney stories, and that was that the princess was always perfect, starting with being able to sing and to dance and always having perfect hair. This is a picture of me when I was growing up, and you can see that I did not then, nor do I now, have perfect hair. And so I wanted to write fairy tales where the characters were a little bit more like me. My first book was A Hidden Magic, which was a fairy tale that had to do with a princess who was not perfect in the way of the Disney girls. And I loved the way illustrator Trina Shart Hyman drew her, uh, as I had described her, with her hair a little bit of a mess. My advice to those of you who are interested in writing is to read a lot, but while you're reading, try to figure out what it is that you like about the story and where is it in the story that you become aggravated or you become bored and determine for yourself how would you have written that scene or that ending or whatever it was that bothered you about the book, what would you have done to make it better? Would you have had more description or less? Would you have had more humor? Would you have had the characters be more likable? Try to figure out how you, if you were the author, would have solved that problem. There was someone who said that he or she stopped the video of the recording of eight class pets and made a guess which turned out to be the right guess how the story would end that's an excellent suggestion again for those of you who might be interested in writing and sometimes your answer will be the same as what the author came up with and sometimes it might be different How I came to write eight class pets specifically was by watching the squirrels in our backyard. My husband has put up all these bird feeders that have been supposedly squirrel proofed. They are not squirrel proof because the squirrels always figure out how, get, how to get into them. And it can be spring, it can be summer, it doesn't make any difference how much food is available anywhere else. They try to get into the bird feeders. And it seems to me that that's because they are having fun trying to figure out how to get into the bird feeder as though it's a puzzle, as though it's one of those lock escape rooms. Uh, they're thinking of it as a game, and that means that they are very clever and thoughtful creatures. And so I wanted to write a story that was told from the point of view of a squirrel, but having had a lot of 
various pets during my life, I also wanted to include other animals also. By the way, I love the illustrations done by Steve Bjorkman that capture so much personality, so much energy. And I think that he did an absolutely fine job. Another of the questions was inspired by Lenore, the parrot from Puerto Rico. Um, the question was, had I ever been to Puerto Rico? And the answer is a sort of yes. Um, I have been, but only very briefly. I would very much welcome the opportunity to visit again for a longer time because it is a very beautiful and friendly place. Another question that I was asked were, why do the fish called a dog a big noisy creature? Keep in mind that each chapter is told from the point of view of the animal in that chapter. And fish, what kind of noise do they make? Fish are pretty quiet. So when the dog comes in barking and chasing, naturally the fish are going to think of him as being noisy. But again, it's that kind of question that makes me think that probably some of you are writers at heart because you are trying to figure out exactly what's going on and trying to make it make sense for you. To the person who asked me if I had written any other books and said how much you enjoyed Eight Class Pets, first of all, thank you for saying that you enjoyed it. Second of all, I have written and published a total of 39 books. Some of them are for children and some of them are for teens. Um, but I have two other books featuring Twitch the Squirrel. One is called Squirrel in the House. And the other one is called Squirrel in the Museum. They, all three of them were illustrated by Steve Bjorkman. And even though only the first book has the word chaos in the title, you can tell from the cover pictures that there is chaos in all three of these books. So for those of you who are interested in writing, happy writing. For those of you who are not interested in writing but love a good story, I want to wish you happy reading. And of course, happy summer. And once again, thank you, especially to librarian Ms. Tommy Black for inviting me to participate in this. And thank you to the readers. And thank you all for listening. Bye-bye.